So if your goal is wellness, which should be the number one goal, you have to follow an anti-inflammatory diet for a lifetime. Not for two weeks, not for two months, not for two years, for the rest of your life, if wellness is your goal. And it's pretty simple. You eat small meals throughout the day. You have some protein at every meal. You eat primarily vegetables, and you take your fish oil. It doesn't sound very high tech, does it? Well, I've just tried to show you what's actually in your body is incredibly high tech. And that's why I said earlier, sometimes we make medicine a lot more complex than it really is. In many ways, medicine we see today is like an iceberg. We see the tips of the iceberg, but below the surface lies most of the mass. We see today, we see the cancer. We see the autoimmune diseases. We see the heart disease. We see the neurological disease. We see the aging process. And they seem to be all separate. But in reality, they're all connected below the surface by silent inflammation. The more you reduce silent inflammation by the diet, the size of the peaks that you see get smaller and smaller. It doesn't say that food will replace drugs but food makes drugs work better at lower concentrations. Lower concentrations, lower side effects. So here's my view of 21st century medicine, and really 21st century anti-inflammatory medicine. The key for the future is reduction of silent inflammation. You can only do that by controlling your hormones and keeping them in a zone that's not too high, but not too low. Diet is your primary drug, and high-dose fish oil is a key component of that diet. And if you do that successfully, you return to the beginnings of modern medicine with Hippocrates, when he said some 2,500 years ago, let food be your medicine, let medicine be your food. We now know what the old guy was talking about, is how food can affect our hormones, how those hormones can affect our genetic expression, and if we control our genes, we control our future. That's the exciting aspect. So with that, I'll give you a little background on, again, the real key, the reason why you basically train. You want to maintain wellness. But here's the molecular reasons. Now we'll take a short 15-minute break here and then come back and talk about how this is all translate into improving athletic performance.